Uh, flag 2007, and I am up to my night caching stuff again. Uh, cache was published earlier tonight at around 9.20, and I just checked it here recently at, uh, at 12.46. Let me refresh the screen one more time. And still, there is no logs on it right now. So, it's a small cache. So, that falls within my parameters of, I gotta get it. And it will become a nice little night cache for my night caching geo coin and I will probably log in some of my other uh, items through it so we'll find out how the camera does in the dark probably not much better than the other camera in the dark from what I can tell so far but I've got a big light so I will illuminate as best as possible That is the road of night caching. Notice the dramatic voice that I put on this video to emphasize how lonely night caching can be. Nice production value. had to cut on a light to get a little illumination going on here. Uh, you know, not a low lux camera. Uh, this one, as I said, or I clearly probably didn't say, this is down in Ringo. So, and it's near a ball field. Should still be accessible at night. I don't think the, uh, the road is gated. At least the last time I was down here it wasn't. And sometime or another, either before getting the cash or after, I've got to get gas before I head back home. But I will light it up at the cash location and see how we're doing. saw this uh, coming in I thought maybe it might have been a bonfire or something like that but apparently not it's a uh, looks like a house fully involved I hope everybody got out okay I just had to kind of circle around there because I had a fire truck turn in behind me because apparently he didn't know this was a parking lot. And they are just now getting on site and having a hard time getting to it. Now it doesn't really show up too well what we're looking at here but it's pretty bad once again night caching and geocaching in general you tend to find the craziest things going on all right I'm on site about 51 feet away and I've coded up because temperature is down just a little bit more and I don't know how long the search is going to take 
hopefully not too long. I see some pine trees over there. It, it could be the good place to be putting something. But in any case, I will, uh, as soon as I have something definitive, I will update the video. Let's get going. 50 feet and that's not far. Alright, just got to do the best we can at night. Here's the container. The search took all of hmm, less than two minutes. Maybe it's 60 seconds. Cords were beautiful. Well, let's see if we have any sandbaggers. A nice big log book. And here we go. First page. That's what we want to see when we're night caching. And when we drive ten and a half miles to get to it. A good first to find a good night catch. According to this, they've had this thing out since the 16th, but it just now finally hit their, uh, hit the caching community. Apparently they had it in their hold queue for a while. Got some cool stuff in here. Nice stack of cards. Some dice. And a poncho for when it rains. I'm gonna throw the log book back in the bag. Reach back here, back here into my swag bag. And throw them a little bit of extra stuff in here. Gonzo boat. <laughs> Might need something smaller. and flat. This, by the way, is a kind of a refrigerator sealable container. Uh, I would prefer they change this to a, a lock and lock box, which is a lot more secure, uh, because the side on this is already split. I didn't do that. So they will probably want to uh, replace this as soon as possible. Probably why it was in the uh, the extra bag. Hmm. 
and that is a night caching find. So we will replace this cache and go home and do a video. Hmm.